Hello, 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 hello again. Welcome back to Conversations with the Mystic. Yes, why do I call myself a mystic? Because I've experienced the mystical and supernatural to the extreme and lived to tell of it. Yes. And I became all knowing, I know, and got downloaded all the answers of the universe. All the answers of the universe is within us. Everything that you need to know is within you. If you connect to that level of consciousness and level of spirit. Now, the question that was emailed to me, and you can email me at prayerwarrior777 at live.com. That is prayerwarrior77 at live.com, which is quite a coincidence because it, the question that was emailed to me was asking whether prayer and meditation, are they the same? Prayer and meditation, are they the same? Well, prayer and meditation, they are not the same. They are not the same. I've done prayer for two decades, and then I've done meditation for only a few. Not even a few, I, I would say I started my meditation a year ago, I touched it lightly, but when I got really deep into it was in March of this year, 2020. So the reason why I was just touching it lightly the past previous two, three years was because I was still praying. God, where are you? God, help me please, God. God, why have thou forsaken me, God? God, please have mercy on me, God. So, and then at the same time, I would go and try to meditate. And I don't think none of them was working because there was conflict. There was conflict. There was conflict in a God who I kept searching for, looking for, couldn't find this God. He couldn't help me. I was struggling. I was under the water. My head was going under. Couldn't, God wouldn't help me. And then there was, there was meditation and meditation helped me to alleviate anxiety and panic attacks just for a little while because I wasn't doing it fully. Now, prayer and meditation are not the same. In prayer, you are looking for God outside of yourself. You're looking for God to help you outside of yourself. He can't help you. If you're looking for God to help you outside of yourself, he can't help you. I'm so sorry to have to break it to you, but that's the truth, okay? Look, you're looking at an extremely ex-religious person, religious since eight years old. By the time I was 29, I became Christian because religion didn't make any sense. I couldn't, I, I couldn't connect with God. Christian, I couldn't connect with God. The only thing that happened in Christianity for me was I didn't feel the condemnation that I felt from religion. But then I felt the condemnation from the congregation. So it was crazy. So prayer, praying to a God that is outside of yourself, you're not, he's, he, he, he can't, God, this source that you call God, this being that you call God cannot help you if you are praying to him outside of yourself there might be some little tiny instances of breakthroughs and little tiny miracles but you're not going to get help the source of creation is what we call god when you look all around you you look at yourself you see creation and we call that god yes that source has created all things it is because of that source that creation is throbbing right now but then that source just left it right there. It is like a coach teaching his, his football players to play football. He teach them everything that he can. But when the game begins, the coach just stands back and let the team play. Well, that so is the same thing with the source of creation. He created everything and he put creation there and then he stand back. Do what y'all want. Y'all got it within you. Y'all got me within you. I created you. You are me. I am you. Don't be over there. If you look in the book of, I'm going to be quoting the Bible a lot because that's where people can connect with different things. If you look in the book of uh, where Moses was at the Red Sea and the Egyptians were coming to kill all of the Israelites that were trying to get out of Egypt and Moses stood at the Red Sea and all the Israelites were coming and Moses was like, God, they're going to kill us. Did you bring us here just to die? And what did the Bible say? Remember, the Bible to me now is a book of metaphors. What did the Bible say? The Bible says, what did God say in the Bible? He says, Moses, dude, why are you calling out to me? Why are you calling out to me? In other words, the metaphor of that story is simple. Is simply this. You don't need me because you are me. Why are you calling out? To Go look it up in your Bible. Why are you calling out to me, Moses? Why are you calling out to me? Everything that Moses did, he did it himself. It said that he contacted God. It said that God told him, we'll do this and do that and do that. But Moses was the one orchestrating all of these things. And that is the same thing with us. When we are there calling out to God, 
God help me. God help me. Please have mercy. God is not going to answer. Because God is within you. So it's almost like you are crying out to you. When you are crying out to God, it is you crying out to you. Okay? Let's put it this way. As some people would say, your higher self. When you meditate and activate yourself, activate all those chakras and connect with that consciousness at that level that I connected with it, you will know exactly what you are. And you will find out that all those years that you spent crying out to God, you wasted them. Yeah. You couldn't answer because you were crying over up there in the sky. I would cry looking up at the sky. Help me, God. Help me, God. Help me, God. He wasn't up there. He wasn't up there. And the, the, the level and the potency of the way I prayed and cried and fasted, did uh, supernatural things did happen. But I now know that those supernatural things was happening because I was making them happen. But yet I was saying, oh, look, God made that happen. No, God didn't make it happen. I did it. We are the creators. Get that in mind. Keep that in your mind. We are the creators. Whatever is manifesting around us, it is us that is manipulating our reality inside of us and around us to seem as if supernatural things are happening. But it is us. If, for example, if a, if a group of people come together it's, and, and, and start praying together for a certain outcome to manifest itself, check it out. That outcome would manifest itself whether God answered or not. Why? Because we are the creators. And when we put our intentions together, it's like Jesus says, where two are gathered, I am there. Or in other words, where two are gathered, there is more power because there's more power to the intention. There is more power to the thought. There is more power to the visualization. Two people visualizing and intending is more powerful than one. All right? And that is why you always find... Uh, people who believe in witchcraft and voodoo in groups because they know together when they put that spell there and they start chanting all their intentions on it, it is more than likely that that whatever they're trying to cast that spell on whoever is going to happen. Okay. And people again, who come together in large groups praying, it is more than likely that that prayer is going to be manifested because of all the intentions now but that is what it is. Now, meditation, on the other hand, is empowering. Oh, my God, you guys, you've got to do it. If you have never tried meditation, you've got to do it. And I am going to, this is just the beginning of me talking about things like this, because if you notice in my previous videos, I was talking more religious and more Christian. Now I'm talking at a level of empowerment because I've found power within myself through meditation, transcendental meditation. And so... Meditation is empowering yourself. When you meditate, it is different than praying. When you meditate, you are literally saying, I am the universe. I am the creator. It is within me. And now I am going within to connect with it and get some downloads and some wisdom and some power. I am not helpless. I am not a victim. The power of the whole entire universe is within me. And I'm going to shut my eyes and close it and deep breathe and go deep within in silence. And go connect with my source of power. I'm going to go connect with the God Wi-Fi. Okay, that is the difference with prayer and meditation. Prayer separates. Prayer is looking for. Prayer is seeking. Prayer can't find sometimes. Prayer is begging and pleading. Mercy, please have mercy. Meditation is, I am. And I have come. And I have accomplished. And I am powerful and I'm going to shut my eyes and connect with that source of power that is the difference between prayer and meditation I hope you found this answer helpful for your questions and please feel free to ask any questions from this mystic yes I am those weird kind of people who have always been like this I came to this earth, I, when I was in that transcendental dimension, I, I saw past lives and I'm an ancient being, ancient. That's why sometimes I like to wear my white wig because when I do that, I feel like myself. I feel ancient, like I'm thousands of years old. When I reincarnated, I believe in reincarnation now. Mm-hmm. 
There's Buddha right over there. You can attest to it. That's why he's there, there, there. Never in my wildest dreams and imagination do I thought that a religious person like me, turned Christian, would ever have this statue. Matter of fact, when I was religious and Christian, I used to rebuke people who believed in this dude and call them demonic. And right now, people who are religious, all my family members and friends and Christian friends, they're calling me demonic right now and Satan worshiper because I found freedom, because I found liberation from religious bondages and all the shackles of me have been broken and i've been healed from all kinds of mental disorders and physical and and and, and emotional disorders and limited limited thinking through that transcendental experience have been healed but yet because people are close-minded i'm being called demonic and i'm i wouldn't be surprised if people on youtube uh, begin to call me demonic and evil and whatever but the thing is this because of that experience that i've had it doesn't matter what people call me i know who and what i am and that is the key that you know who and what you are and when you know who and what you are nobody can tell you who and what you are after that doesn't matter you could die believing in yourself and die with pride because in all reality there is no debt okay there is no debt there is just a transference from this physical body into pure positive energy and i experienced that too all right we're we gonna talk some more namaste remember to meditate